hello everyone, and welcome to something new. No, something old. I've showed this in previous videos. It's the M3 Lee that I bought off eBay. That was pretty much completely built, except for built, except for a few parts. Um, I had to attach the. Uh, basically, what I had to do is attach all the tools in the toolbox and the road wheel suspension pieces were all together but I had to glue them to the tank itself and as I mentioned in the previous video it was missing this set which someday when I get a 3D printer I figured I can draw, have it drawn up on some kind of a design software and then I'll just have it uh, 3D printed and then I can attach, attach it anytime but I was going to title this diorama um, M3 Lee in the Trees. And basically it's going to be an M3 Lee coming through a brush area with some trees on each side. And it'll cover that for now until I, the day I can afford a 3D printer and be able to do all that happy stuff. And it was also missing the cannon for the top turret. And this does go up and down kind of cool. And you can turn the turrets. And then the, the big gun goes up and down. It doesn't go, it goes back and forth a little bit. It goes up and down. And, uh, yeah, I like the sprocket and the, the tension wheel. What do they call that? Idler wheel? Very few things I've done with this, and then I put the hull the top portion onto the hull and then glued the rubber band tracks on it. And I found out the Tamiya Thin set, set does not work gluing these. It will not hold it. I had to use the uh, trusty super glue. That holds it. But we're going to go ahead. I got the Vallejo Surface Primer in black. And I want to use the black primer versus the gray primer because I watched people that are into the armor and they start with the the uh, black primer surface primer and then uh, they can do some really nice shading with it I've noticed once they get the top color this is going to be the US Army green which I have coming but for now I want to get some primer on it it's been sitting on my desk for quite a while and I just uh, took the tracks off. Last time you saw it had the tracks on it. And we're going to shoot this with some primer. And this primer doesn't have to be deleted, uh, deleted, diluted. I shook it up really well. Just needs to go in the airbrush and we're ready to, ready to spray. According to what I've been told. So, I'm going to open this up. I haven't put any in yet. We are going to get the primer on the M3 Lee in the traps. Yeah, that's probably a good start. Put the cap on because I'm kind of messy. I tend to tilt the airbrush in directions I shouldn't. Until I'm used to using an airbrush, I think it's safer I do it that way. I have to do some adjusting because I, uh, well, maybe not. I, uh, completely took the airbrush apart, and it took me a while to figure out how to get it back together. I'm not used to, um, yeah, that's gonna work, I think. But yeah, I had some parts fall off, and I'm like, oh no, I don't know how this goes back together. But we figured it out. But I think we'll start with the underside. I might have to adjust the flow. Yep, we're gonna have to adjust the flow a little bit. The needle's not opening it up. Thank you. 
you know, you'd think I would uh, kid my piece of paper out and get this working before I started filming. There might be some Well that'll get the paint on quicker. I'm not sure that's proper airbrush technique there, but I promise someday I'll learn proper technique, but until that day, <laughs> we're going to go with what gets us our, what we want. Oh, I want to break my little gun. Oh, I did, uh, I did just put that on there by hand. I wondered. Good. I am going to actually keep that off, because it came with a figure, and I was like, wow, I wish I wouldn't have glued that, but I must have been thinking of, uh, you have the option of the clothes hatch, and I'll have to see if it's in the box though. Maybe it was missing the uh, open hatch version, but I could always modify this to make it an open top version. Yeah, that makes me happy. Cool. Hey, you know what? I just realized too, I did not turn my light on again. Well, that's going to make me see stuff way better. Since the paint turned out better on my uh, Rome build, I have just been so excited to build models. Once you start seeing stuff come together, it's just so satisfying. And to see some of these models that have been sitting on my table for, it seems like, ever. Let's get on your side here. we got to check the inventory here. Oh, we're doing fine. We're doing just fine. And I don't think I have my hairbrush set exactly the way I want it. Let's try something else. See if we can get a little more paint flow. Kind of got a smaller I should experiment with the tips. 
Oops, I don't know what comes standard in these um, master airbrush ones, but they're the side that's our, the size that's already inside the brush is. I mean, because it came with uh, uh, 0.02 and a 0.05 that's in little tubes inside the case that it came in. But I don't know what it came with for uh, its base needle size. The rear end's really... Sunday. Oh, that's better. Way better. Oh, we're going to get some coverage now. And I forgot to mention, too, when I did the, uh, the shading for my P40, of course the paint lasted longer. <laughs> the uh, needle wasn't opening up as, as much, so less paint's going to go through. scuffed up. Like I said, they're going to be like an exposed metal. You see, they did. I'm not sure why they chose the. Maybe they're going for a rusty wheel effect. But I didn't paint those. Uh, what are they called again? Drive rollers. The rollers for it. I didn't paint those. They they had those painted already. And I'm not quite sure. 
why they went with the tan, but I'm sure there was a reason. Kinda, kinda like me working on my... People are probably like, why is he doing it that way? <laughs> so, I'm sure they had a, something on their mind, what they were going for. It might have been a chipping technique for all I know. Let's raise this up. As far as we can go, let's get under there. Oh, you know what? Before you know, you're not going to know that that was a toothpick. Unless it breaks and splinters. Same with the sprocket. Not really too worried about chips on that. inside there. Yeah, I hope it's got the open hatch. Because I'd really like to do the little figurine, paint them up, and hopefully it turns out as nice as my P40 pilot did. I kind of like this airbrush setting I got. I hope the, uh, the base coat ends up uh, going on like that. That's the thing, you, you gotta take your airbrush apart and clean it, otherwise it's not gonna work right. But then you gotta readjust everything. I, next time I'll, when I do the top coat, I'll make sure that I get the airbrush going right away so that it doesn't turn into a fifteen minutes of the video to getting the air set right. black primer.
excited about this because it's going to have oh, we'll just smack the main tank with its own tracks. I do enjoy this airbrush though. Yeah, we're gonna have some nice tank tracks in our paint booth there. Looking like we're starting to make some models, huh? I think for a month when I started this channel, we talked about all these models. And, yeah, we're gonna get working on these, and blah, blah, blah. And, I think it was a few months later before I started on the Rome. I have a bad habit of doing that. Get all excited about something and then the stuff comes up and then I look at stuff and I'm like, kind of procrastinate because I'm afraid that it's not going to turn out good. And that's kind of why I started the channel. It's like, you know what, just go out and do it. Especially if you want to start with a model, start with armor. Because if it don't turn out pristine, you can always say, uh, Battle worn. <laughs> but yeah, but armor, it's easy to assemble and it might be a good starter. Airplanes too. Cars, and that's why I got out of. Um, that's why I haven't really built a model since it's grown for over 15 years. It's like. With one of those, the body, you want the paint to turn out nice. You want it to be nice and shiny, you don't want any orange peel. This turned out halfway decent. I was happy with the way the body turned out after I wet sanded it. But like this, slap some primer on it and go. Especially if you're going to do any weathering techniques on it. But I think I'm going to let that dry up. And uh, next time you see this, I'll have to wait till my army green shows up. But next time you see it, we'll be putting the green on it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.